Once there was a man. He was a simple man, and he lived on the island, and he loved it there. He enjoyed things such as fishing. It never mattered to him how long it took. He could fish for hours, and every time he caught a fish, he said, "Jackpot." He liked to sit and watch the cat puke. Everyone loves cat puke, and every now and then, he would stand under the cat puke, and he would eat the cat puke. He loved his home. Oops, that was a puffer fish. That was an accident. Every now and then, he had to use the bathroom. He wasn't the cleanest man in the world, but he didn't smell too bad either. He was a man who liked to dress up. He didn't care the occasion or outfit. He felt he wanted to be him, and he felt he fit in. Wherever he was, sometimes he wore a suit. One time, he was a monkey. The man was confused. One day, he went on a walk, and he just kept walking. He didn't know who he was or where he was going. He was wearing a hula skirt for Christ's sakes, and some kind of bra thing made of coconuts. But he knew he had to get away, so he ran. He even put on a mask to hide the shame. He went into the AFK chamber, and he wiggled away for some time. He didn't know what he needed, but he did know he loved his home on the island. After his AFK time, he strolled again. He went to his friend Goosey's house to attempt to burn it down, but all he could see was faces of friends, and he was ashamed. So he slow walked. He slow walked out of the house. Back into the world of the island. For a long time, he had had a man crush on a friend from the island, and today he went to play with him, but he was not home. So he took a big dookie all over his pumpkins. It's February. Clean this junk up, please. He sought advice from the great man, woman, thing, princess of man, only to find no answers. I mean, what can a man, woman tell you? Does the man, woman know? Is the woman a man? Is she, or he? Why am I talking to this statue? So many questions. And so little time here on the island. The man went up to the bar to drink alone. He drank so much there was fart bubbles coming out of his ears and his feet. No matter how much he drank, he just couldn't feel better. He threw bottles on the floor for no reason and continued. To drink with wild abandon, he didn't know how to find himself, and he needed to silence 
the hurt. So after a couple more drinks, he decided to take off his shoes. And he wanted to hurt himself, so he jumped into lava. He pressed F5. And as he burned, he realized, I feel no pain from this lava, even when I'm ducking under it. I have absorbed all there is in this world, and no hurt. I must learn. I must learn. I think I'll go for a drive. He drove around town for a very lengthy amount of time, over the river and through the woods, and past his grandmother's house, not finding any answers. The only solution that he could come up with is, maybe there is no answers. Maybe you just need to cherish the time you have on the island while it's here. Because everybody wants to be on the island. And that's clear. He had a staring contest with his friend's cat. The cat kept looking up and then back down. He kept losing and he didn't seem to care. But Chuck knew he was the greatest and that this cat was just stupid. So he continued on. After a lengthy conversation with the creeper, who was locked in a cage for the majority of his life, he realized maybe the only cage that he was in was of his own thoughts and his actions and his guilt. He realized Maybe we're all caged. The dog agreed that being caged does suck. And that maybe Chuck had had too much to drink and should go home and sleep it off. Chuck soon realized that this dog was a genius. So he decided to listen to him. And as he stumbled his little crazy fart bubbly butt home, he fell asleep in peace. The Island